Hello everyone, my name is Deckerlink, the Trained Unprofessional, and welcome back to Nekojishi! It's been a long time, I am aware. Uh, I'm sorry for the deluge of uh, Echo lately, but that all came from streams that went way longer than planned. And cutting down into episodes, even hour plus long ones, was... Uh, was a bitch and a half, so I'm very sorry about the erratic and non-predictable uh, and yet somehow incredibly predictable uh, upload schedule, but we're back, we're gonna do the do, Nakajishi, here we go. After that weekend, my new college life living with the three big cat spirits pretty much began for real. I, can't, I come and go from school as usual, but for the most part, my life has been turned on its head. I mean, I've never wanted an ordinary boring life, but I know for a fact no other college students have to deal with this. I've tried my best to keep things normal, but people still ca catch me talking to myself, uh, talk to the myself, and, well, those rumors aren't great. I didn't have many friends at school as it stood, and that doesn't help, it, help to make things better. Luckily, I can handle classes by myself. Mm. As far as club goes, the other guys still don't buy that there's nothing going on between me and Senpai. I don't even bother talking to them, uh, uh, talking them on about it anymore. Uh, I've just learned to be okay about it. After all, getting rid of Senpai is a mission impossible. All in all, I still can't say living with these cats is, is something I've gotten used to. My room isn't big enough a bit for me to get any privacy. After all, I've got certain needs, you know. In the end, there's nothing I can do but try to survive this. Besides, it's not like everything is to, not like everything is to hate about it. I mean, it's hard to not find some enjoyment from living with the three hot guys all the time, right? Aw. Aw, he's reading. And, speaking of reading, we seem to be in a library. That day, I was going to the bookstore to see if there was something I would want to pick up and read, for myself and partially at the request of a certain guardian tiger. Senpai had a class, so he didn't come with. Of course, Tiger was with me, but Lef Leopard left as soon as we started browsing the shelves. Hmm, because he really doesn't have much interest in it, especially considering he can't read Chinese. Ch Chinese? It's Mandarin or Cantonese, isn't it? I don't... Admittedly, I'm not as well versed in it, so I'm just gonna trust it, but... I feel like... Anyway. So it was just ta Tiger and I, browsing about the literature section as usual. I was keeping an eye out for a certain collection of short stories, but I couldn't find see it on the shelves. Instead, I resorted to looking around for anything that catches my interest. I catch o I, ca I check over a few book covers, but none st struck my tastes. So I kept browsing along down the shop, finding myself in a corner that I don't recall ever paying attention to before. Hmm? Lau, may we take a look over there? Tiger seemed, suddenly seemed very interested in a certain bookcase. I went over to see what he was so curious about it. Huh? Oh, textbooks? As far as the Tiger's interest in these school textbooks, it just looks like boring study material tome. Oh, a book on mobile phone development, hmm? And it, this one, and this one seems to be a tutorial on computer systems. You seem confused. I'm merely interested to discover how all your technology works. Do you believe you could find that type of resource here? Oh, maybe? Let me see. It took a while, but I finally found a book that, about the development of computers. Flipping through some pages, it looks like it has some chapters on computer history, the development of the internet, and other related topics. I'm not too sure about Tiger's grasp on physics, but it seems like the explanations are given through thorough and through analogous stories. He'll probably get the gist of it. Give this one a go. If that's what you want, I'll try to find some more. Certainly. The Guardian Tiger reaches for the book, pulling out its chi form, proceeding to flip through the pages. Hmm, not a terrible book at all. Lao, did you end up locating the book you were searching for? Not yet. I'll keep looking for a bit. I believe I'll keep flipping through this one for now. Good luck. Okay, have fun. Tiger paces over to a table and sits down, pensively reading his newly found textbook. Turning back to the literature section, I pick out a book to read. I promised that I'd wait for Senpai to finish class so we could walk back together, so I might as well do something while I'm waiting. 
I read my book, occasionally glancing over to see Tiger absorbed in his. As the hours pass, I was about halfway through this through the novel, but he seemed but he was almost at the back cover of his book already. There's no way my novel is bigger than that textbook. How does he read so fast? With a satisfying thumb, Tiger closes the book. He then gets up to grab another from the shelf. Some time passes before I finish my book. Just as I do, Senpai finally calls me. That worked out nicely. Oh, Senpai, uh, we're pretty much done at the bookstore. I'll be over in five minutes. Okay, I'll wait for you in the cafeteria. I quickly finish reading the last few pages. It was actually written quite well. I take a moment to ponder my feelings about the book, not even noticing that Tiger is still reading across from me. Guess he ended up finding another book. Tiger, it's time to go. Oh, yes. After being told we need to leave, he promptly closes the book in his paws, though he seems a bit dejected about having to stop. I mean, why does he? He could just take the chi of the book with him, couldn't he? I don't, maybe, I don't know. He only just started reading that one. Why not buy it if you want to keep reading it later? Why can't he take the chi with him? I don't understand this process. Hmm, can we? I asked Tiger to show me what book he was reading. It's not cheap. The price is a bit... If it's that expensive, then we shouldn't buy it. You can see the disappointment behind his words. Oh, jeez. Well, I mean, we bought something for Senpai. We might as well buy something for him. I want to be stingy. Oh, just remember, buying this book means no junk food for you this month. I shouldn't be letting you waste money on me. It's not a waste of money. I'm just curious what do you want to read? why you want to read up on this stuff. Oh, well, to put it simply, I yearn to keep up to date with, with the kids of today. <laughs> I'm hip like you young kids. I'm down with the jiggy. <laughs> so this book might be helpful to you. I don't think that any kid would have read a book like that, but someone like Tiger who doesn't know a thing about modern technology could probably find it useful. Well, let's buy it. When I have the time, I might flip through it as well. Thanks. It's nothing. It's not nothing! I take the book over to the cashier. The cashier, apparently. Alright, let's not keep Senpai waiting. We gotta go! Okay. I put the book in my bag and left with Tiger to meet with Senpai for dinner. Aww. Uh. God. I'm so worried about today's quiz. Oh, Jesus. Well, usually a quiz is no big deal, but recently all my study plans have been severely messed up by some cats. 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 Okay, maybe that's an excuse. It's not like math was my strength to begin with. Even though I managed to review the whole topic, it doesn't change the fact that I didn't understand all of it. Cramming is never a substitute for studying, after all. Remember that, kids! Oh, I'm trying to fight a burp and it's not working. But I'll never get through this quiz by complaining about it. I keep calm and walk into the class and gently take my seat. It's kind of weird to be in class at this point without Senpai with me. It's not his class, so obviously he can't get away with sitting on, in on the test. As soon as I get my paper, distracting thoughts are put to the side. I give it a go, head on with all my might, even if I don't end up making sense of most of the questions. And as such, 40 minutes passed in a blink of fury and determination. All that fury and determination I had a while ago burnt out to a crisp. My mind resorting to absent-mindedly scribbling on the back of an exam of the exam paper. Oh shit. Third. I look up to find Leopard staring at my quiz. <laughs> it's just something about the Creeping in from the side of the screen, I love it! Third, what third? Wait, does he mean the third answer? I circle C for the multiple choice I'm on. Risa gonna cheat! I look up to find, uh, to see Leopard nod slightly. Is that really the answer? Just to make sure, I move my pencil to the next question and look at him. What? Sabotage. Sabotage. <laughs> it's the wrong answers. <laughs> First. I circle A and the leopard nods. The hell? He knows the answers? Maybe his math is pretty good. In class, he does always pay attention with that serious look of his, but I thought he was just trying to pick up on the Mandarin. 
Was he actually learning math? But how? Even if his Mandarin was good enough, you can't just walk into college-level calculus and get an A! He is a god, after all, so I don't know, maybe that's just a thing. I mean, even if it is just a general elective class, I can't even manage to get through this quiz. Maybe Mr. Leopard is really a genius in disguise. It's a bit crazy to do so, but I follow the Leopard's instructions. He's throwing them at me so fast I can barely keep up. But this is math! No one can calculate this fast in their head. He's a god! I mean, are these even it's the tough. answers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's math to be a god! <laughs> I doubt he'd lie about it, though, and it's not like I've got any better options. So let it be. So I let it be and complete the quiz with the leopard's help. And I sit there and wait for the end to come. <laughs> I finish my toast and then I wait to die! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> feels like it. <laughs> Christ, man! Words. Word choice. With, cl <laughs> with class over, I turn in my quiz and whisper to Leopard while everyone packs up their stuff. So this answers. How did you know them? I watch. Watch? Watch what? <laughs> what? Is that a dot? Yeah, there's one dot. Is there going to be another one? Another dot! Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to skip past it. He walks to a desk nearby and points to a... <laughs> he was copying someone else's test! He was just reading out other people's answers! So I mean, I just copied all my quiz! Fuck! That's cheating! What? You didn't think it was cheating before? Holy shit! Well, it was already cheating when I got his up with the quiz to begin with. Doesn't matter where I got the answers from. All I wanted to know is how we got the answers. I didn't want to cheat! Why didn't Guardian Tiger stop him? I to see Gu Tiger sitting in the back row of the classroom, looking delighted by the book he's reading. Yeah, this is my fault. I start to pack my stuff and get ready to leave. There's nothing I can do anyway. At least I completed the first half by myself. Hopefully they didn't catch me for cheating. Otherwise I'll be screwed! All right, I'll just have to study hard from now on. I won't let this happen again. But how should I explain it to Leopard? I wonder if he knows what an exam is. Oh, stupid. Who He's an aborigine. <laughs> well, thanks for your help. He nods. But, uh... The way you did it wasn't that good. It's called cheating, you know? I mean, you shouldn't copy other people's answers. It's against the rules. They're not fair to others. So don't do that. Not fair? Um, see, it's unfair because I'm the only one who can see the other people's answers. Understand now? Yes. So don't do that again. Sorry, I didn't realize those were on other people's answers, I just so I just followed you. So next time, please don't tell me other people's answers. Oh, he feels you yo no But thank so... you anyway. I understood that all he was all he was did was try to help. But even with the best intention, he made a mistake. Even if I pass this quiz, that's all I get out of it. I won't pass the final exam without actual study anyway. I mean, what if he helped me during the final as well? I'm not really worried about this elective knocking down my GPA. I'm, I'm really worried about this elective knocking down my GPA. So if I c can just cheat with a Leopard's help... No! I can't think about just cheating my way through this. I absolutely can't do that. I hesitate over it for a while, but with my stuff packed up, I leave the classroom. No. Poor buddy. He's my buddy. That night, we're at club practice. While our club leader gives a speech, I notice Jow Hao coming over to me. Hey, Lao! Uh, so remember how you asked me if my don't remember what his voice was? You remember when you asked me with the Rukai guys and Lu Glang the Clan of the Lampards? Yeah, how'd it go? You get something? Apparently a weird accent. I look towards the god in question. He listen he's listening carefully with his stern expression. Yeah, my mama, so my days. 
So while there aren't any cloudy leopard gods, the Rukai do have a legend about a cloudy leopard. A legend about a clouded leopard? Hmm, what kind of legend? Well, a long time ago, my ancestors were traveling through Wu Tai. Just as they were about to leave, a clouded leopard and the tribe refused to go any further. It made them stop and look. The clouded leopard led them to a treasured place, perfect for them to live and prosper. That's where they settled and formed the current Wu Tai tribe we have today. It's quite the tale. But you can never know if that's what really happened. I'd say the way our ancestors migrated back then was a little dot 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 strange. But tales are tales. Maybe the cloud of leopard you were thinking of is the one from the legend after all. Do you think he became a god after that? There's no way to be sure our tribe doesn't worship clouded leopards, but they do pay respect to them. Maybe there is a clouded leopard god out there after all. By the way, what made you so interested in all of this? Eh, ma'am, ma'am, I was probably just wrong about it to begin with. I just heard something about clouded leopards being respected by Rukai. Then I wondered if any of them were gods. They're important creatures after all, right? Of course, as I said, the clouded leopards are respected by the Rukai. We would never harm them, but there's no reason to say that they're all gods. Well, maybe the one who let the tribe to Wu Tai might be, but not the entire species. Okay, so that particular clouded leopard from the tail might be a god, huh? Who knows? Mom didn't really mention it. And I don't think an animal can just become a god anyways. In our culture, all the gods existed since before the universe was created. Yeah, I think about it, that clouded leopard never told me he was a god. Maybe there's just a different name for it? Regardless, there's definitely a basis for that clouded leopard to have have come from the Rukai tribe. Maybe he might even be the one from the Jow House legend? Alright, I've got another question. Have you ever heard about L E L A D? Oh shit! Adridinangani, uh, Adridinigad. What the fuck? Adridrin, Adridinangani. I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah, Adrin. Yeah. Flat out of noise. Leopard had suddenly spoke out loud. <laughs> what is wrong? Cat got your tongue. <laughs> Uh, yeah, kinda. Anyway, have you ever heard about a guy with the name of Adrigani? Adrigani? They have to ask. It'd be great if you could. Thank you for all your help. It's no problem, really, piece of cake. Now that that's over, I pretend to tell Jow Hal that I need to, need, to, need to the bathroom so I can get a chance to talk to Leopard alone. So, uh, Leopard. Jow Hao says he doesn't know about any clouded leopard gods in, Ru in the Rukai. You know anything about that? I've been putting this off for a while, but I decided to ask him straight out. He probably knew I was suspicious of him anyway. Best to just ask. I am no god. I am spirit. <clears throat> spirit. Uh, I am spirit. He, uh, he did a little dance there for a second. I don't know what that dance means. My god. Hmm, so if you're not a god, Jow Jow How was right then. Yes. Okay. So are you the leopard who led the Rukai to Wu Tai? Yes. No. Yes and no. What does that mean? Not only Wu Tai. Oh Jesus. Kong advantage. What? New info. Okay, so what's this? Kachapugage ne. Kachapongane. Kachapongane. That's as close as I can get. Kachapong. Kachapomegranate is a Rukai tribe located in Wu Tai Pingtung. According to legends, a clouded leopard led a tribe to a place called Kachapongang. Uh, 600 years ago. This is where the tribe settled, forming a Kachapagane tribe of today. Ow, you fucking ass. 
However, Kachapagane, uh, was as seen on maps today, is not the same place mentioned above in the entire tribe and moved to a new point by the market between 1977 and 1979. Now let's go to the Kong Advantage. No, oh, that's not Kong Advantage, that's Kong Advantage. Kong Advantage. Kong Advantage, toi. Stop. <laughs> that was meant for you, not to Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Kagavanane is a Rukai tribe located in Maolin District Cowswing! Cowswing! Um, a long time ago, I'm not even trying to get it right, okay? <laughs> long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, there were four small tribes in the mountains of Kong Advantage. Uh, one day a hunter went hunting in Kong Advantage with his hound, some say the name of this hound was Clouded Leopard, but others say that the hound itself was a Clouded Leopard. But the hound didn't come back home with him. Aww. When the hunter went back to Kong Advantage, he found his home, his hound prone on the ground near a spring. Aww. The hunter saw that this is a sign that there might be a place of great fortune. Oh. Okay. After leading, uh, learning of the hunter's story, all four tribes moved to that place, forming a bigger tribe of Kong Advantage. I don't understand it, but whatever. Are those all tribes you've helped? He nods. I lead the path. Those people live better. So he's been leading the path for the Rukai people to find better places to live for a long time now, huh? Guess he's done a lot for the Rukai people. I understand now. I'm so sorry for suspecting you. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I guess Mr. Leopard is a good god, no good spirit. Uh, he might, he may not say much, but he's always got that distant look on his face, and he's always got that distant look on his face. From now on, he'll get a different face from me, one of respect. <laughs> and that look at the god damn who sent him here. I only, it, it's a lot of syllables, and I don't know how to say it. That's the only reason I'm. Oh, you buddy. Hopefully this all turns out good in the end. Afterwards, I go back to my seat, wave to Senpai, and focus on our club leader's choreography tutorials for the rest of the meeting. Hmm, I'm reading. I was sitting at my desk just as my mobile started to ring. Hmm. It's a call from back home. Honestly, I don't want to pick it up since it's been ages I've talked since I've talked to anyone from my family. Ever a moment of hesitation, I pick up the phone. Hello? Hello, oh, my boy! Your dad's been missing you! How have you been? Yeah, Dad, I've been fine. See, you haven't gotten off the pills. Ugh. Well, I can't really say having to suddenly deal with talking to three cats is fine, but... Should I talk about that to Dad? Hell no, you shouldn't! I really want to find out if my family does have a history of... of having the ability to see the Guardian Tigers and other spirits. Fucking stop! But if Dad finds out that I can do that, wouldn't he just force me to go back home? My older brother handles all the temple work these days. He takes it super seriously. He'd be stupid about myself in competition to him anyway. Something wrong? Wow, you seem quiet! Uh, yeah, it's okay, it's just... Oh, shit. Well, if it is a family thing, then maybe I should ask him about it. Because in all honesty... We, we, who the fuck would know? I might as well ask. Dad, was our family ever able to see the Guardian Tigers? I hesitate a little bit, but I figure that asking him directly is the best option. See the Guardian Tigers? I mean, uh, can we see Guardian Tigers during divination? Has anyone in our family been able to see them before? Seeing Guardian Tigers during divination? Divination. What are you talking about? Divination is divination. How could someone see the Guardian Tigers? Uh, so the answer is no. It's a no. Why are you so interested in this all of a sudden? Have people been telling you things? Oh no, just curious. I mean, we've been a Jitong family for a long time. Maybe there's something more to the Guardian Tigers. Oh well, you remind me of something though. When I was a boy, my grandfather, well, your great-grandfather, always said he was watched upon by the Guardian Tigers. If that were true, he must have lived well, honest, and kind. I don't believe it anyway. Well, 
Yeah, what's it? That isn't to say that I don't believe in guardian tigers, though. I mean, surely the guardian tigers are busy. I highly doubt they would spend all their time watching on us mortals. Your great grandfather used to used to use stories like that to keep the kids in line. Anyway, modern people aren't as dogmatic as he was. Dot dot. Dot. But you don't tell that to anyone else, otherwise people might start thinking about us as a bunch of swindlers! We may be jig tong as for the Guardian Tigers, but that doesn't mean we can actually talk with them! Anyway, don't blab about that to people, understood? I... got it. <laughs> That's a good boy! And how school? You're keeping up on your grades? Uh, I mean, I cheated on a quiz a few days ago, but I did think I should tell Dad that. It's been alright. Life is- Fuck off. Fuck off. It's been alright. Life has been pretty good here, and the dance club has been going well. Glad to hear it! Just don't spend all your life in the club. Focus on study, okay? Mm-hmm. So, when will you be down home next? Uh, I'm not sure when I would have some time. It's almost Qingming! <laughs> what is that? You'll have time then, right? You would have to come back if you do! What is Qingming? Also known as Tomb Sweeping Day in English, Qingming is a traditional Chinese festival that takes place on the first day of the fifth solar term in the tri traditional Chinese lunisolar calendar. Christ! This makes it e either the 4th or 5th of April in a given year, which is... Uh. Which is close to when I'm recording this. Qingming is also a public holiday in Taiwan. Well, that's cool. Alright, I'll see if I can. Alright, remember to come home sometime. And make sure to get enough sleep. Yeah, I'll make sure to sleep early tonight. That's good. Bye for now, son. Bye, Dad. Let out a sign to the otherwise silent room. Are you alright, Lao? Did something happen to worry you? Dad said no one in my family has been able to see Guardian Tigers. Tiger nods, seemingly unsurprised by this. It has been too long since the last one. Hence why I said your ability is precious. But can I really see you? This can all just be my... If they don't exist, why can I see them in front of me? Just as soon as I start to get used to having them around, Dad's got me doubting myself all over again. Of course you can. Who else would be talking to you right now? There's nothing to be worried about. Seeing is believing. Tell that to a schizophrenic like myself. I cannot blame your dad or your grandfather. They cannot see us. Hmm. Lao, do you really believe I am just some illusion of yours? Uh, uh, well, a little bit. Honestly, I am worried about it. Still, I didn't expect him to address it outright. It is pointless to worry. Proving that we are not illusions is simple. How so? I simply have to do something you cannot. For example, taking a book from your shelf and reading you a page. Surely you could not remember it exactly. Still, I, I've read all of those already. There's a chance I could have just remembered the passage. Isn't there a better way you could prove your existence? Excellent point. There are several more options. How would you just open a website you've never seen before? You can close your eyes and I could read it to you. Simple. I'm certain that will work. If it does not convince you, I can do much more. He's right, Lal. What's there for you to worry about? Senpai. Well, I didn't catch everything you said on the phone, but it sounded serious. You okay, Lal? Did you catch a cold? Don't tell me it's so bad that you're seeing things. I mean, I am seeing things, but... <laughs> no, I don't have a cold. People don't just start seeing things from colds. So you hit your head? Ooh, Lao might have brain damage. You're the one who hit their head. Come on, Senpai, stop messing with me. Lao, I don't understand why you're worrying so much. You can see us, that's the truth. Even if Lika Lao and the old man were your, were your illusions, I'm a real person that can, everyone can see, and I'm standing right here. Senpai, you're human to everyone else, not a leopard cat. Come on, are you really this dense? Do you actually believe Yan Shu Chi would just move in with you like this? You think he'd tell you stories about rejuvenating a temple in Miaoli? I'd be impressed if you made all this up. Uh, 
Alright. Honestly, I don't care if this is something you do to your f do to your family. It's, o it's the only thing that matters is that you can see me now. Hmm. Got it. It's alright, Lau. Just as I said, you're thinking too much about it. Are you feeling better now? I can't just change how I feel about it that quickly, but I do feel a little better. I should probably stop stressing myself over it. Still, it's unreal to think that I can just see gods now. Wow, I made you to see. I know, it's real. I didn't expect Leopard to be worried about me as well. Thanks. I'm alright. It was just a thought, nothing more. It's pretty obvious you were stressing over this. I was worried Lau might end up in an asylum. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you mean a, you mean psychologist. What? What? <laughs> pretty you might end up in an asylum. No, that's what he said. <laughs> Even then, no way. Okay, okay. Come on, you don't need to treat me like I'm an idiot. Lau's not an idiot. <laughs> Thanks. Right, Lau isn't an idiot. I don't feel like you're the one making me out to be an idiot, senpai. It must be those illusions of yours. Get off. I pretend to be angry, pouting as I look away from them. However, regardless of their teasing, I know they care about me. Just knowing that kind of makes me feel warm inside. Aw. So it's Friday already, huh? Well, we will see what happens on Friday in another episode. Thank you all very much for watching this one. I'm sorry it's been so long. Hopefully it won't be so long in, um, until the next one. I don't know. Honestly, like I said, these things just sort of happen when I feel like it. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trained and professional. Speaking for the voices in my head and the squeak, who's still doing schoolwork when I say until next time. Fairly well. Bye, everyone!